Hello Cancer, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. Please bear in mind that this is a general slash love tarot reading. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your moon, venus and rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, then you can find the link to private readings in the description box directly below this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. So Cancer, I'm going to jump straight into your reading. I'm going to use the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck for your main reading and clarify where necessary using the Lightseer's Tarot. So let's jump straight into your reading and the first card out for you is the Page of Wands. Then you have the Page of Swords. Then we have the World, which is Saturn energy. And it's a major arcana card. It represents all of the star signs. Then we have the Five of Wands. And the chariot, which is cancer energy. You could be dealing with cancer. Of course, cancer. This could be the energy you're in if you're not dealing with a fellow cancerian. It could be that you're coming out in your own reading, which is always great to see. And you could be in that chariot energy currently. So also you've got the Ace of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. The Lovers, which is Gemini energy. This is a major arcana card. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Also, you've got the Emperor, which is a major arcana card. It's Aries energy. Could be dealing with Aries. And we also have the Queen of Cups. So we're starting off with the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands, this could be a gesture. Something coming towards you. Could be that you have a creative idea. Maybe there's a project you want to get off the ground and you've got some ideas regarding that. But something's definitely coming towards you. There is communication coming in with the Page of Swords. And this is, like I said, um, a communication. But there's definitely some sort of offer coming to you. It could also be that you're receiving a small kind of reward. For some of you, this could be about a promotion, getting a job, maybe a, an increase in salary for some of you. Some of you, it could be a win in a game of chance. But you are getting a communication and I feel it is going to change things. Whatever's coming into you is going to offer a new beginning for you. And the world is about having balance and harmony, starting a new, um, you know, it's about moving on. You've also got the chariot. You've got two cards that suggest you're moving on here. You're starting a new chapter in your life. You're making a really big decision. Some of you could be contemplating traveling also. And then we have the five of wands. So I feel for some of you, there's been perhaps a bit of a friction, a bit of tension. Not everyone likes what is happening in your life. There's arguments fighting disagreements around you. Um, this could be also competition. Maybe you've had to really fight hard 
to get this get a promotion but I see you beating the competition hands down you know um, it could be competition in love as well but there's certainly some sort of disagreement here I'm going to clarify I think yeah I'm going to clarify the five of wands for you okay that's clarified by the six of swords so whatever competition there was I feel that you're not now moving away from it whatever arguing bickering fighting disagreement there was you're moving away to calmer waters here you it, it may have caused you some emotional issues doing so but I can see you moving away from all of this because it's been painful for you hurtful but you're moving away from it then we have the chariot yeah you're moving on the chariot is about you know taking control of your life showing initiative moving forward in your life it could be also about meeting someone I feel you could be meeting someone new you're determined and again it can also indicate travel taking a journey but you're in a very positive frame of mind here <coughs> um, then we've got the ace of swords the sword of truth maybe you're beginning to realize a few things maybe things are falling into place for you you're getting that clarity um yeah you i feel you're getting clarity here i think you're realizing what's good for you what you want and i think you're ready to take action here And then we've got the Queen of Wands. And I feel that I'm going to clarify the Queen of Wands for you. Because the Queen of Wands, you know, this could be the creativity, the energy that you're in. You know, you could have, your intuition could be really high. Could be in that creative flow. Have a really good sense of what's going on around you and what people are about but like I said I'll, I'm going to clarify that for you yeah and, and that's actually clarified by the three of cups yeah so with the Queen of Wands, you know, it can also be, for some of you, regarding a third party situation. If you're moving away from all of this arguing, this fighting, this competition, for some of you it could regard, be regarding love. Maybe there is a third party interference, something that's interfered with this. The Queen of Wands could represent the other woman or the other man involved. Um, yeah, so there could be a third party situation that some of you are dealing with or moving away from here. And next you've got the lovers. So this is about making those balanced, healthier choices for yourself. You know, making choices that are right for you in love, in any area of life. Um... In, in the job you do, in the career path you want to take, in your personal uh, self-fulfillment, I feel. You know, this is about thinking about things, weighing things up. Um, and clarifying the lovers, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the major arcana card, and it represents all the fixed signs. So, could be dealing with Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, or... Leo and this is a change in luck a change in circumstances um, could be having better luck better fortune in love 
like I said, you've got the chariot. It does suggest that you're meeting someone, that someone's coming in for you here. And this is going to maybe change your luck because I feel that you may have had some unfortunate experiences in love of late. But I feel the wheel is turning in your favour here. And you're going to meet, I feel, someone that's definitely going to be more right for you someone that you know is something that you deserve i feel also it could be a turnaround in your luck regarding a career a promotion you've got something coming to you it could be you know money coming to you because there's definitely a turnaround in your fortunes in uh it's very lucky for you and then we've got the Emperor. The Emperor, this is about taking initiative, taking control, again, like the chariot. Moving forward, this could be someone that you're meeting. This could be the person that's coming in for you. Someone that's very grounded. Someone that is well established in their life. Someone that has a lot of confidence about them and definitely financially stable. I'm going to clarify the Emperor for you and it's clarified by the lovers, which is Gemini energy. Yeah, so this is someone new coming in for you. This is, this is someone, this is a love interest for you. Someone that is definitely going to be on your wavelength someone that is going to really be fair in matters of love you know someone that's going to treat you fairly going to treat you right someone that wants the commitment further down the line someone that will be committed to you in a big way I see here, definitely. And with the star, this is a wish coming true. I think for both you and the other person that's coming in for you. This is a wish coming true. And then we've got the Queen of Cups here. It does also come directly under the Queen of Wands and the Three of Cups here. I feel that you have ended this situation here. I think a lot of you have. You're not willing to pour any more of your heart and soul into the situation since you found out what is really going on. But there's some there's someone new coming into your life. This is real love. This is the real deal. I think you're ready and open to give your heart to, to this situation. I'm going to clarify this. And it's clarified by the death and rebirth card. So when one relationship ends, another new a new one can begin. This is a restart, you know, a diff, a new beginning in love. The end of an old chapter with someone that didn't treat you right in order to begin a new one with someone that will treat you right. You know, and um, you have been very brave, very strong, you know, in all this. You are looking out for yourself, you know, thinking about what's for your highest good. Showing yourself some compassion, some self-love. Being brave moving on from all these bad experiences you know being ready for something new because i feel you've learned a lot there may have been there may have been unpleasant experiences but they've taught you a lot they've taught you that you need to value yourself you know um value yourself more and know and keep telling yourself that you deserve better and you're getting better I'm going to get far better. So let's get you out some Love Island, Love Island cards. 
and you've got the dragonfly is being light-hearted finding out things things come into light adapting changing and healing yeah you're finding out a few things about someone that's been unfaithful deceitful and you're adapting and changing and healing and learning from this process we will acts break up separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment yeah there will be it will like i said lead to a breakup but you want to stop this kind of pattern you know keep repeating getting involved with people that don't treat you right you know and there might have been a bit of emotional abuse going on i think for some of you as well regarding this person but i think you are ready to move on from this we've got soulmates soul connection partnership agreement soul contract yeah this new person coming in Definitely sounds like a soulmate. And then you've got ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Like I said, yeah, you're going to transcend these obstacles, overcome these problems. You're going to learn from them. You're going to expand as a person. You're entering a new phase, a new beginning. This is a new, a, a brand new start for you and a brand new romance, a brand new love in your life, something that could turn out to be ultimately pretty serious and, and send to a higher level of commitment further down the line i see that for you i've got seduction it's about attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference this person's definitely going to seduce you but i do feel like i said there's also a third party in interference with your previous relationship i feel that that has ended this relationship for you so i'm going to get you out of moonology card to wrap this up for you and you've got meditate and contemplate and that's the new moon in Pisces yeah this this card is about dreams and romance it's about soulmates and it suggests that there's a new start coming your way I think you know what what you've had up to now has been very confusing and disappointing for you but I think that you wished hard and you know you've manifested you've wanted something far better than what you've experienced regarding love and that's what you're getting use your feelings to guide you your way logic won't work right now so yeah this is I think a pretty good reading for you all in all cancer I do wish you luck Please, before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.